What's up everyone? I hope you're having a great day and in today's video I'm just going to be going through when to sell a stock and when not to sell a stock. So this is an often asked question on when you should do something like this. So I'm just going to give my opinion and my thoughts on when you should do this. So remember guys to join all of our stuff that is down in the description below. We've got Discord, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to join us over there as well. And remember, this is not financial advice by any means at all. So remember to do all your own research when you're looking into anything like this at all. Remember as well, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, helps us out an awful lot. And look, it really helps us in the YouTube algorithm as we're really hitting towards that 250 subscriber mark. And look, thanks guys. And we'll go straight into the video now. When to sell a stock? This is one of the most asked questions that we do get. When should you think about wanting to sell a company that you've looked into religiously over the last few months and you're now thinking about, oh, I need to sell a stock. Why would you even think about doing this? Has something changed? Something in your personal life has changed? Why are you thinking about selling a stock? So I was gonna get into a few things. So you need to ask yourself three things. When is it the right time for me to sell this stock? Why would I sell this great company, great stock? You don't want to have a massive feeling that you sold way too late or way too early. So you need to think in your own head, is it too late or am I selling this way too early and I'm going to lose out on a lot of profits that are coming down the line? So these are a couple of things you need to consider when you're first thinking about selling a stock. When to consider selling a stock? is when the fundamentals of the stock have changed. All companies do change, but sometimes they do change for worse, sometimes they change for better. You also have to think about laws, regulations that are coming in from above board, from the governments, from countries, all around the world as well. So these can all change what happens to that specific company, specific stock, specific industry. So a lot of this kind of, for example, would be to do with oil regulation and pollution into the environment, which is a massive topic right now. So you have the, the G7, you have the Paris Climate Accord, Accord, they're all going to be affecting these oil companies and their profits as the people uh, clamp down on carbon dioxide and a lot of the emissions that come with that. So that's kind of an example where the oil industry is gonna suffer as more people turn away from fossil fuels. So that's just one example of a regulations affecting a specific area. A new management team can come in and they can change a lot of things. Sometimes it can be for good, sometimes it can be for better. So you have to kind of examine of what changes they're bringing in into that company and kind of see, do you think this is going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? And this could influence your decision when you want to sell that, that stock. New competition that comes into the market. So new competition, a lot of the time is always welcome because you are there then forced to have an edge against your competitors where as a lot of companies do not so the competition is actually is, is a good thing in a lot of cases but they can also take a lot of your market and result with your company actually heading down the way and growth rates falling you're not even maintaining what you were having before and you're even losing money which is the worst case scenario so they are things to consider when you're going to sell your stock this can also change if you're looking at growth stocks, you're looking at value stocks. They are both have different attributes between them. So like a growth stock with had very high multiples of PE, forward P be very, very high, peg ratio, very, very high. So that's why you pay a premium for the, the growth stocks over the value stocks. So when considering selling a growth stock, you will look when the growth starts to slow down and the multiple is still high and you've made a nice bit of profit on that. That's when you would sort of kind, kind of start to decide whether you're going to sell that stock or not. With a value stock, you want to make sure that the company has reached its intrinsic value and that you bought a nice bit below that. So for example, if you bought 50% below intrinsic value, it has now reached intrinsic value, you're leaving with a nice profit of 100%. When to cash in on your stock? You're looking for where there is a better opportunity in the market for you to reallocate your money. You're thinking, can I make more profit over here than where I currently am? So you're like, 
I'll sell one of my assets that I think I'm up quite nicely, I'm in a nice bit of profit, I'll sell that asset and I'll buy a new one. So I think I have to mention just before that, it's probably you should hold cash on the sidelines at all times so you can take advantage of new opportunities that do present themselves so you don't have to put yourself where in a position where you are selling a stock that you own currently that you still believe in but you think you might have a better opportunity elsewhere if you have cash on the side you're well able to take advantage of that instead of selling assets that you currently already own already so that would be a bit of a strategy that i would go by in this sort of case but it is okay if you really, really do believe that this new opportunity that you have seen presents a better opportunity than you currently do have. It is perfectly okay to go ahead and reallocate that money instead. So a lot of people do do this, like they can buy something and after a month, 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 two months, three months, they might sell it on a short term basis, but they all do it for a reason where they have a better opportunity in the in the wings so that's kind of something that what a lot of people do but it is specifically a judgment call of that individual do you really think that this is going to be a better stock for you and if that is the case then you go ahead and you make that decision to reallocate your money one of the most important things we're going to cover here is the wrong time to sell so the wrong time to sell is definitely in times of fear so the market can sometimes end up feel like you're losing and you're losing and you're losing that is not the time to sell it is not good to sell at a loss it's to try and reevaluate where you are and to be able to put more money into positions that you do fully believe in so the, a price drop in your investments is not an indication that you should sell as what a lot of people do think they get instant fear when they see all oh, my investment is down 10 15 percent you get an instant kind of sense that there's fear in them which isn't always the case. What has changed in the company from when you bought it to being 15% down after a week afterwards? Like, if there's nothing specific that has changed, the management hasn't changed, the company strategy hasn't changed, why would you think about selling? So this is something that you need to consider when you are thinking about selling your stock. Are you selling it just because you're in fear and you're seeing that it is down 15, 20%, 30% over, over time? So this presents an opportunity to buy the stock at a cheaper price and to really double down on your conviction stocks. So a lot of this kind of fear play is a lot of it, it's short short term thinking on behalf of the the individual and a lot of these people are more so speculators than actually investors in the company. A speculator will sell their stocks at the first glance of fear and that is not something that like we're about on this channel we're about holding your positions for um a very long a very long time and to get the maximum out of every position that you put your money into and so if my position is down for example one of mine is uh, corsair gaming it's down from where i bought it about 20 percent and i'm doubling down and buying more um as as i can and can afford to do so so these are kind of things you need to ask yourself and patience is always key in the market as where does it go always after time, the stock market always rises in value. So that's kind of one of the key things to think about when you are thinking about selling your stock, you need to think, is this the right time? Am I doing it under the right circumstances? Have I thought this through? There are a lot of things that you need to consider when you are going to be selling a stock. So that just brings us to the end of the video. I hope you kind of understood a bit about when thinking about selling a stock and when thinking this is going to be a good idea. What am I going to do with the money that I've gotten? Obviously, personal circumstances can change. You need to make a big purchase, something like that. You obviously will need to kind of rework where are you going to be putting your money and you might sell off some assets if you've got a, a tax bill, you've got a new car, you've got an unforeseen circumstances. They're all things that we can allocate to selling a stock as well. But when doing it under normal normal circumstances and thinking about reallocating money, you just need to consider where you are. So just, guys, let us know if you've made this mistake before, you've sold a stock, you've sold a crypto way too early, and you've lost out on, on an awful lot of gains that you could have cashed in on. So that, let us know, and we've also done this an awful lot as well with stocks in the early days when we first started, we were buying and selling stocks, and it just, doesn't really work for you like but if we held a lot of them stocks you would have seen in previous videos where to look at the ones that have gotten away that happened an awful lot as well so thanks guys and thanks for getting to the end of the video 
and we will see you in the next one and remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button it really helps us out an awful lot thank you